how did you start your business? Started haphazardly at a need and necessity for clients who had a property and needed assistance with it. We inherited three doors and then we just started adding doors. We've always done leasing, but never the management side of it. We took over someone's account who had three doors and we've added a few more doors since then. We have a total of nine doors right now. Door grow for me, like um, the market has had a couple of shifts you know, since the pandemic and, you know, now most recently within the last couple of months with inventory increasing and interest rates also increasing, buyers just aren't as active. And the only thing that has been consistent has been the doors. So I feel like it's time to grow it. Are there any other bigger struggles in your business right now, aside from growth? The systems and processes that are in not in place. <laughs> I'm doing it solo. I do have some administrative support when I need it, okay. but the challenges of training them on what needs to be done, missing a lot of components. I'm the one person that does everything. Hi, my name is Sandra Lucas and I'm in California and I really valued the information that we got to hear yesterday, but it was really great. I'm new to property management, so the high overview was extremely helpful. Thank you so much. What's the average rent in your market? It's about 3000 Oh gosh, yeah, you should be making way more, <laughs> way more. That's a high rent market. Here's. One of the management companies that I called just to see, they charge a lot more for the management. If you were to guess, what's your personal why right now? Like what sort of golden thread stood out to you in today's exercise? Because I care, right? I have a service background, so for me, it helps in my real estate business too. I'm always one to put the client's needs first to help them and provide exceptional service. I am you know, really focused on tr still trying to build the property management side of the business. And I'm halfway through the program. I'd like to keep moving forward. When I initially started Door Grow, I was doing it so that I can grow my own portfolio. And since then, I've been working with a friend of mine who has a portfolio of like 360 doors and he's considering selling the business to me. And so I've been working in it and I feel like I'm drowning. So, but what I have worked on and focused on has helped me in some way to help him in his business, like getting the right people on the bus, the right seats and processes and really looking at his processes 